Yo, yo, yo. Thanks for tuning in to the 80s, 86th episode of J Talks Crypto. And in this episode, I'm going to be talking about how to overclock the Gecko Compact F. Well, Gecko Science Compact F. Because it seems like there is not a lot of information on how to actually overclock or run these things. Um, I do have a set of video that's uh, pretty solid and I do have uh, a, a good amount of information in the description, but let's be real. Nobody reads that shit. Uh, anyway, so <clears throat> most of it, like I said, most of the stuff is in the description for that video. I will also probably add it to this one. And just go over a couple of uh, tips and tricks on how to actually get these things running at speed. Um, so, as a heads up, if you just plug this into CG Miner, I think the stock speed it'll hash at, or it'll try to, or the stock megahertz it'll try to hash at, is at 200, 200 megahertz. Um, it's not really recommended to run these sticks under 400 megahertz or MHC. And the reason is just because um, I guess that the way the chips are designed is that when they are not given uh, sufficient power, they don't really run very well. So in order to even get to get these to run at a higher clock speed, Sometimes one of the things that you need to do is, in addition to adding the little string of uh, overclock text, which specifies the, uh, the MHZ that you want it to go to, you might also need to adjust, add two more scripts. Uh, one of them is dash dash gecko dash start dash frequency. And then um, the stock frequency is like this is when, once you plug it in, it starts at 200 megahertz and then it starts increasing it. Um, once uh how does it go <clears throat> I'll, I'll read the post from side hack this is from the guy himself um so gecko dash compact f dash freak 400 um gecko start freak 300 uh, and gecko tune up 85. what this means is that uh, you're targeting around 400 megahertz it starts ramping from 300 megahertz instead of 200, uh, which is the default setting. And it'll step up the megahertz frequency once the measured hash rates uh, breaks 85% of the expected um, hash rate. Uh, sometimes um, I've noticed that for me, uh, I've set that up to, to like even 60 um, because some of the sticks, uh, sticks just kind of like struggle at the, at the low end when getting started. Um, and additionally, if you, if you run a stick, don't expect it to, uh, hit the maximum, uh, hash rate within, um, a minute or two of launching CG Miner. Uh, sometimes for me, I've noticed that it takes, uh, up to an hour for the stick to get to the highest speed that it's going to get to. Uh, if not a little bit more even. So uh, another thing I wanted to go over is some information on the voltage screw, which is this little screw over here uh, on the side, that guy. Uh, so the stock setting, this one actually doesn't have the stock setting set up because I, I am overclocking this one a little bit. But the stock setting, I would say, is like you see this flat part of the screw. It's when it's parallel with the side of the stick. This one, I have turned it a little bit clockwise, I think it is. Um, so you see how the, the flat part of the screw... Hold up, let me just make sure. I'm not talking out of my ass. So you see how the flat part of the screw is essentially facing down a little bit. So over there, it's on a higher setting. So it's going to consume a little bit more voltage. Um, and the setting that that screw is going to be in really depends on a lot of things, in my opinion. It's like one, it depends on how much, um, like what kind of USB hub you're using. Um, 
the ambient temperature of the area. So just because something was hashing fine for, <laughs> for like six months and um, all of a sudden it's not hashing the way that it used to, you might need to adjust that screw because uh, it could be that the ambient temperature got a little bit hotter or a little bit colder because it's now summer or it's because it's winter. Um, that's something that I noticed where I was like, what the hell? Like this thing was hashing fine for months and now uh, it's not working. What's going on with my miner? I just want to hash in silence. <laughs> um, so adjusting that screw and play around with it, play around with the different position. Um, and uh, and don't don't take it as a rule that it needs to be like, how do I say this? It needs to be down like this. Uh, like where the flat part is facing down. Sometimes I've had I have had sticks where one stick will be facing like almost all the way down, like this one is, um, or where the flat part is essentially facing uh, up. Let me. Uh... So that's kind of like the default setting. This is kind of the setting that I needed for mine, but yours might even need to look something like that. So I'm just going to read verbatim from my description. The voltage screw increases or decreases the power draw on the stick. If the hash rate stabilizes lower than when you had prior to turning it, turn it in the opposite direction. Uh, I found that you need to play around with the screw at different directions. So some you have to turn clockwise, others you have to turn counterclockwise. I think it depends on the chip. Uh, before I think in my other videos I would say like uh, try opening if you're if you're having trouble uh, getting uh, a stick to hash at a certain speed uh, for example let's say you want all of your chips to ha all of your sticks to hash at 350 giga hashes I would tell people to try it at different frequencies and uh, open new tabs to see which frequency works best for each particular stick but I've found that actually you can just run them at 450 megahertz for, for example and then adjust the voltage screw to get it to hash at the speed that it should hash at at that megahertz level i think sometimes one of the reasons why it needs to be in a different position is also because of how the usb hub you're using disperses power um, maybe one USB port is getting more power than another, which is why you need to adjust the voltage pull on each individual stick. Um, I've had all of mine, uh, like sticks that I even thought were broken because they would just say zero chips found, um, be based off like where I put it on the, where I, where I put the voltage screw setting. Um, like I've had all of them running within five to 10% of the expected hash rate. It's just annoying because it takes patience. You need to adjust it, <laughs> leave it for like an hour or two, then try it again in, in a different position depending on how the hash rate behaves. Um, it took me, like if I, at one point I had uh, 12 sticks uh, and it took, it took like a week for me to get through 12. Um, because sometimes what will happen too is like you'll plug one in and then that one kind of affects the way that the other stick operates because they're kind of sharing the same uh, circuit, for example. Um, and like I said, uh, if a couple if a couple go uh, if a couple of months go by, and uh, one of them stop hashing as expected, um, try changing the position of the the voltage screw. I also wanted to go over just like some basic super basic troubleshooting um, is uh, number one if you're having any kind of like zero chips found issues um, unplug and plug the miner back in uh, restart the Raspberry Pi or the computer that you're using for it um, 
try uh, to plug it in a USB 2.0 port and not a USB 3.0 port. Uh, and if none of that works, uh, reflash the SD card with a fresh image of your operating system, such as uh, Raspberry Pi OS, uh, Ubuntu, or Linux Mint, and then recompile the uh, CG miner um, based on the other video that I made. And if none of that works, then kind of like your your last resort is playing around with uh, the the voltage screw. And then if, if none of that works either, um, I would say uh, follow up, drop a comment. Uh, what kind of USB hub are you using? Uh, what kind of computer are you using? Uh, such as a Raspberry Pi, uh, a laptop, uh, if you're trying to run it on Windows, uh, stuff like that. And um, I think that's about it um, for, for this one. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys know I hate asking, pero this is JTalks Crypto, and I am signing off.